Hi, this is Michael Dooley with Lone Star Percussion, and today I'm going to be messing around with this crazy looking contraption. This is the Black Swamp Anthony DeSanza Triangle Trigger. It looks a little scary, but it actually solves a pretty common problem. Every professional percussionist is going to experience a situation where you're asked to play a triangle note immediately after you're done playing some other instrument like a snare drum or a xylophone. And you literally do not have the time to put down the mallets or sticks and pick up the triangle and the beater and play it like normal. But this solves that issue. If I'm playing xylophone and then I've got to play the triangle one note later, I just smack it with the mallet. It's pretty convenient and the concept is pretty simple. You shove your triangle beater into this holder and you put your triangle in this top holder and then you just smack this wide rubber band and it pushes the back end of the triangle beater down the front end smacks up and hits the triangle. Pretty elegant. I've got this attached to the top of a cymbal stand, but the bracket will fit any 3 8 inch rod you, like you would find on an LP everything rack or any other uh, basic accessory holder. The thing that makes this really interesting is the amount of customization that you can do. Virtually every aspect is movable or changeable in some way. So you can adjust the vertical position of the triangle, moving it up or down to get it just in the right spot for the beater, or if you have a larger triangle or a smaller triangle, make room for it. You can also adjust the left to right position of the triangle itself, because sometimes with uh, whatever triangle you have, you know that it sounds a little different if you play it in the middle, or it sounds a little different if you play it out on the edge. So you can um, modify that to get exactly the right sound that you want. You're also able to adjust the positioning of the actual rod itself so that you can hit the triangle with the middle of the beater or the very tip. And you're also able to fit three triangle beaters in here. Right now I've got um, a Spectrum beater in the middle and two Black Swamp Select beaters on the outside. And you can rotate whichever one you want to happen to use. So right now I've rotated it to the right so when I activate it this thin beater is going to strike the triangle. I can rotate it to the center or to the other side. So you can have three beaters at the same time and you just make a little adjustment and get a different sound. You're also able to adjust the positioning of the holder itself in case you have longer or shorter triangle beaters. You can adjust the positioning of the rubber band to give you a different feel. And if you're in a position like I am right now where it's kind of awkward to play it, and sometimes that's necessary in a a tight setup, you can also adjust the angle of the playing surface. So now this is a little bit more comfortable for me. One really cool thing about the triangle trigger is the fact that you're able to play more than just single notes. You can play intricate parts or even rolls. Check this out. Finger cymbals are another one of those awkward instruments that sometimes you have to play immediately, but they're really awkward to pick up, especially if you've already got sticks in your hand. So this extra component includes a special rod and a, a top part that holds onto one finger cymbal and this special holder, which I've switched out from the triangle beater holder, and a sideways finger cymbal holder that I've replaced from the triangle holder and you position them exactly in the right position so when they strike together, they hit dead on with no extra flim flaming around. And then you just uh, tap the rubber band and you get a finger cymbal sound. Pretty, uh, pretty clever.